after 21 days, an angel came. And he said, Daniel, from the first day you began to pray, I was sent to bring you the answers. But the prince of Persia, the powers of darkness, the, the demon forces that were governing Persia, they captured me, they held me until Michael, that great prince, came and set me free. And now I'm come to tell you the things. But it took 21 days. Now, what if Daniel had not persevered in prayer? What if he had stopped and said, well, I guess God's not going to answer. <laughs> they, there used to be a phrase, they said, praying through. And I used to sort of make fun of that, pray, uh, that phrase, praying through. Praying through what? Uh, but praying through to victory. Persevering until you get an answer. And the answer may be no, but that's all right. At least you've got your answer. But you pray until you get your answer. Perseverance in prayer. I wonder how many things that we have desired and asked the Lord for have we not received just because we quit before God had the opportunity to respond and to answer uh, in his timing. Persevering in prayer with supplication for all the saints. Praying one for another. Bearing one another's burdens and so fulfilling the law of Christ. And Paul said, and pray for me. That utterance may be given unto me that I might open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel. Now Paul was in prison in Rome when he was writing this. Pray that God will give me the opportunities to witness for him here. That I might be bold in my witness for Jesus Christ. Making known to others the glorious mystery of the gospel 